Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video where we will be unboxing and giving first impressions to the Dyson V15 cordless vacuum. If you came from my Instagram stories, you know that this is my first Dyson vacuum and my first cordless vacuum, so I'm very excited about this purchase and this unboxing. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and then we'll do first impressions. Together we'll start with this guy here and we will follow the shapes so it looks like this guy clicks in there and then I guess we'll start with this guy here the anti-tangle comb that's what I definitely need in our house because I shed a lot so let's go ahead and try this guy out super easy super quick to change the parts out and it comes with a little bit of a charge so let's go ahead and try it out I was never able to get the blinds before. I think it does a good job. I also wanted to point out that there's a washable HEPA filter. So that's really nice that that comes in there. And it's locked in there, whereas our previous vacuum, the HEPA filter would pop out and the dust would just go everywhere. Okay, we are back. So I'm gonna share some very quick first impressions after using the vacuum around my kitchen. The first pro is that the cordless vacuum is absolutely amazing. That's the one thing that stood out the most to me is that not having a cord is 10 out of 10 amazing. It's just so much more convenient. You can move so much faster. You don't have to worry about constantly pulling it or you know retracting it or plugging it into another outlet as you're moving around. It's not even a thought. So that is my number one pro and I'm very happy about that. The second pro is the volume of the vacuum. It's a lot quieter than my previous vacuum. The third pro are the attachments in general. I was able to play with probably like three or four of them and it's just nice to be able to get into like the nooks and crannies that the bigger, thicker, older vacuums can't reach as well as like the bristles for the blinds and things like that because I don't normally 
clean those. So it's nice to have those attachments and the option to actually reach those spots. There's so many attachments and I'm excited to continue testing them out and really getting a good feel for them. They're also very, very easy to attach and detach. And now for the cons. The first con is that it's a little bit heavier than anticipated, but it's still a lot lighter than my older vacuum. I believe this one was like five or six pounds. I'll double check and I'll put it on the screen where the V12, which is what I was originally gonna get, was about a pound and a half lighter. The second con, which is kind of interesting and I didn't even think about this when purchasing it, but the vacuum doesn't stand on its own. So if you are cleaning a section of the house and let's say you need to move a chair or something like that, you either need to lay the vacuum down on the ground or you need to put it back on the wall mount. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. It's a little bit less convenient. And if you are thinking about purchasing the vacuum, that is something that you should keep in mind. And the third con, it's not like a big deal, but you have to hold the power button down as you're vacuuming. It's not just like a one click and then you can release it. I believe on the V12, that is the case where you can just click it once and then you don't have to hold the button down. But in this case with the V15, you do have to hold it. It's not really a big deal. Um, and it's something that I probably will get used to as well, but it is just something that I wanted to know in case you were comparing the V12 to the V15. So again, these are my very, very quick first impressions of using the V15. I'll be sharing more updates on my Instagram as I continue using it and learning more about it and the attachments and also testing it on the carpet, which I'm looking forward to doing as well. Um, my main priority is really just cleaning up hair because I shed so, so much. Also the detangling attachments. I'm very curious to see how those work and I can definitely share updates on my Instagram if you want to follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.